Well, right here we're just going to do a quick little uh, walk around on my uh, 2001 Yamaha Warrior 350. Um, I really like four-wheelers, and uh, I just got this one because it came up with a good deal on the on the marketplace, and uh, I was like, what the heck, and uh, bought it. Um, I paid 1100 for it, and it came with a title, and... Um, I think I'm just ready to get rid of it. It wasn't really the four-wheeler I was expecting. Um, I owned a Honda 400EX, and the, the amount of power those put out is just ridiculous. It really is. Uh, see, I bought this one because I, I thought it might compete a little bit. I mean, being only like 50cc difference, I'd expect it to be pretty much the same power, but it really isn't. This one really lacks in power. And you can just see the whole huge engine down there. It's just ginormous. I mean, one of the nice things they do is that they do give you reverse, though. You just pick this up, move it for reverse, which is really nice. Um, I was really expecting more out of this quad, in all honesty. Uh, definitely going to be back in the market for a 400EX uh, once I get rid of this. Uh, brakes all work and headlights work. You just get the lows and the highs, and get the front bumper guard, which is nice. And I mean, tires aren't awful. I mean, they're not really good, but they're not bad. All the brakes work, and a little tear in the seat that just started, but not awful yet. And under there, you got the air box. Somebody already cut it out, and. Then you have the battery, uh, looks like that's already been messed with a little bit, but it's supposed to be a new battery. And uh, we'll go ahead and start it up real quick. Uh, haven't ran it today, uh, I just pushed it out here. You grab the exhaust and it's cold. We'll go ahead and turn the key, uh, put the choke on that's down here, make sure fuel's on. Hit the start button. Be it for my uh, quick little video on my uh, Yamaha Warrior 350.